Greetings, my esteemed Laddingtons. Will I join Getter? Absolutely not. I will absolutely not join Getter. There are a few different reasons for this. First and foremost, we do already have Gab and the CEO of Gab, Andrew Torba. He has shown himself to be truly committed to the radical principle of freedom of speech. And I say radical because it's truly a radical position in this uh, day and age of increasing censorship. Back in the day, during my school years, freedom of speech was always upheld as something of utmost sacredness. Not so anymore, unfortunately. But um, anyway, that being said, we already have our freedom of speech platform, which has shown itself to be true to those ideals. Now, Getter, on the other hand, they have already started banning people, not for what they've said, but for who they are. And that is, um, you know, that sort of high school drama mentality that this guy, he can't come on here because he said this somewhere else or he is, you know, generally controversial. It's not something I can respect in the least. You know, grown men acting like um, teenagers, truly uh, embarrassing. And uh, of course, not something I want to be associated with in the least. And I see this in Getter already. Uh, and now, actually, if we're talking about freedom of speech, which, of course, it's a, it's an important principle for me, but there are certain exceptions here which I do definitely respect. So if you have a, um, a platform, if Andrew Torba, who is a Christian, by the way, um, sometimes a bit over the top, as I've mentioned before, but if you had said, you know what, we have freedom of speech on this platform, but you can't insult the name of Jesus Christ... Now, I wouldn't have any issues with this at all, first and foremost, because I would never insult the name of Christ, because he's uh, an important figure for many of my supporters, and has been so for many of my ancestors. Um, so I wouldn't have an issue for that reason. I also wouldn't have an issue if the rules are clear, if I know exactly what I can say and what I cannot say. The issue is when you don't know what you can say. So you have this mainstream media platforms, you don't really know what you can say, and you get banned for, yeah, something that someone has thought was insensitive, or not even that. In my case, I get banned for who I am, not what I've said. I've never seen anyone point to anything extreme I've ever said. It's only about, you know, this guy is a controversial figure, so he deserves to get banned, but never about anything I've said. So that's actually something that is, um, I would be okay with a platform saying these are the exact rules. So if you have a platform saying you can't use racial slurs, that's completely fine. I don't use racial slurs anyway. First and foremost, out of respect for my non-European supporters. Secondly, because I don't use racial slurs because I think it sounds bad and it's not something I, I use in my language. But point being that there needs to be clear guidelines so people know what they can say and what they can't say. Now, take another example. We can take the um, the glorious nation of Thailand. In Thailand, at least a few years back, when their beloved king was still alive, may his um, may he rest in peace. Now, you could get away with a lot in Thailand, as I'm sure you all know. Quite degenerate in uh, in many places, Thailand. But something you couldn't do, you couldn't disparage or say anything disrespectful about their king, then you got into a world of trouble. Now, I can definitely respect that. I do believe that no one should come to anyone else's country and start uh, disrespecting their um, their sacred figures, in this case, the Thai king. So I always respected that in regards to the Thai people, that they had a sacred thing. In their case, it was the king. So everyone who, well, with a modicum of intellect, when they went to Thailand, they knew, okay, we can do a lot of things, but we can't do this. Clear rules. So when I see these very unclear and ambiguous rules in various platforms, yeah, that's not good at all. So anyway, that is the long answer why I won't get on Getter. We already have Gab. Then, of course, we do have Telegram, which is my main platform, which is also dedicated to freedom of speech. So I don't really see why we would need another uh, alternative to Twitter, which doesn't have the benefit of actually promoting freedom of speech. So anyway, be sure to follow me on Telegram and Gab. All links in the description box below. Thank you for watching. XXO. Boom.